State officials say the risk of developing a serious infection is rising in some areas. Here to talk about that, it is Friday. It's Dr. Todd, uh, and the Chief of Infectious Diseases at Cellshare Health. Thank you so much for being here. So Great to be we've you. been swatting mosquitoes all summer long. Why are they more dangerous now? Right, so mosquitoes are small, they're tiny, but they're menacing. They're considered the most dangerous animal in the world. Why? They kill about 2.5 million people around the world every year. Now, most of that, unfortunately, is in Africa. The United States is protected, but here's the bottom line. August, September is, is when we tend to see cases of what we call Triple E and West Nile right. virus. The first case of, a human case of West Nile virus reported from Hamden County in a 40 year old that thinks Springfield, and the first case of Triple E in a horse. So the fact is, these are closer to humans. We have to be careful. All right, so you've treated patients with these infections before. Typically, what's the first step in treatment? Is it just an antibiotic? Right, we really don't have antibiotics, oh. or in these cases, antivirals. So it's really supportive care. Most patients do well, but the ones who uh, get sick, they get really sick. They're in our intensive care units. Sometimes we need neuro ICUs to take care of these well, patients. But awful. that underscores that prevention is most important. So remember your insect repellents. Remember, fix your screens or install screens right. if you have standing water you want to dump that out because that's a, a breeding so there are ground steps for you can take to yes. try to avoid this even more so that's because right. sometimes you can't avoid a mosquito bite doctor it's true i mean you can't here's the good news though most mosquito bites They're do rare. not end in serious infections and why is that probably for a couple of reasons but one is that our immune system is so strong for instance for every 150 cases of west nile most patients are symptomatic or just have mild symptoms. Only one gets really sick. So, you know, no, no, that's, good, that's good news. Yeah. It's good perspective, but it is still a good reminder to take all of those steps because you never know which mosquito is going to bite you and what that could lead and to. And we haven't seen Triple E in three years, and that tends to be cyclical. I'm not saying this year is the year, no. but there have been a lot of it in mosquitoes, so we have to watch out. Interesting. All right, Dr. Todd Alleran, thank you. We always appreciate you stopping you, by the you studio. Too, Maria. Thank